Hello everyone, I'm Anita Wallace, I'm Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network and I'm delighted to introduce you to Professor Dominic Furness, a microsurgeon with a special interest in lymphedema. Uh, one of the things so many patients ask us um, is to know, find out more about LVA. Can you explain that to us, Dominic? Yeah, of course. So LVA stands for lymphaticovenular anastomosis. Definitely much easier to say LVA. <laughs> um, this is one of the reconstructive techniques for um, surgical treatment of lymphedema. So it relies on there being sufficient function remaining within the lymphatic system in order to, for us to, to use surgical methods to enhance the, the drainage of fluid from a limb. And so with, with lymphedema, there's uh, in particular LVAs designed for secondary lymphedema, although there are a few types of primary lymphedema that, that it is suitable for. But I'll, I'll talk mainly about secondary lymphedema. And I know we've got a question about primary lymphedema coming up later. Um, so in secondary lymphedema, the lymph glands have usually been treated by either surgery or radiotherapy or often a combination of the two in order to treat cancer. And this causes a blockage higher up in the uh, lymphatic system. So the fluid, let's say from the leg or from the arm, just can't really get out of, of the arm or the leg. And we need to enhance the drainage. Now we need to remember that that fluid came from the circulatory system and it's trying to get back into the circulatory system. And so what we do with LVA is out on the limb, we directly make a connection between the lymphatics and the circulatory system. So we join one of those tiny little lymphatics, often uh, half a millimeter um, onto one of the tiny little veins in the limb. And this means that the fluid can now drain directly back. So it gives us a low pressure outlet for, for that fluid to drain from the limb. And we do this at multiple points um, up and down the limb in order to, to try and just tip that balance from fluid production to fluid drainage back in favor of drainage so that the, the fluid can, can get out in an easier way. It's not suitable for everyone though, because what we require is that the lymphatics are still functioning well and still pumping plenty of fluid. Because if you've got a lymphatic that isn't really pumping very much fluid, you can join it technically to a vein absolutely perfectly, but it still won't be pumping very much fluid. And yeah. so uh, it's not very useful for people who've got more advanced lymphedema. So how do we choose which people we offer LVA to, well, we do that by doing a scan called ICG lymphography. And what that scan does is it, we inject a tiny little bit of dye just into the subcutaneous tissue, and that dye gets taken up by the lymphatics, and then we can look at the pattern of um, drainage of that dye, of the, really of the lymphatic fluid, um, using a special infrared camera. And we can see that live in real time on the screen. Yeah. Um, and that shows us what the function of the remaining lymphatics is like. Are they still working? Are they still pumping? Are they moving dye up the limb? Or does the dye just kind of sit uh, where we've injected it and, and not move very far? And that allows us to determine who we think would be suitable for this surgery. Thank you. Um, I mean, we are asked quite often about cost. I know it's virtually impossible for you to say without actually having a consultation with a patient, but, um, you know, we are aware that it's, um, you know, it does cost many thousands of pounds for the expert. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think it's important to emphasize that there's no sort of one operation for every patient. Wow. It's a very bespoke decision um, with many different factors. So hospital fees, surgeons fees, anesthetic fees if required, um, uh, various other aspects that come into it. Is it one limb or two limbs and so on and so forth? It is certainly it's several thousand pounds. And again, I don't wanna speak for other surgeons up and down the country who, who may charge different fees as well but yes definitely 
what I would say is uh, it's only a few hundred pounds to come and, and have the scan and know whether uh, one of these reconstructive options is suitable or not. Lovely, lovely. Thank you very much, Dominic. Thank you.